dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I say we all must go. <laughs> Once again, me, Let's Do It Again, band and show, straight out of Washington, D.C., your host, Tom Mo. What's up with you, man? How was your day today? The day was a wonderful day, man. It was nice outside. Oh, my God. It was nice outside. Like, if your car wasn't washed, man, you was behind the game. You supposed to went to the car wash this morning, man, got that thing tightened up. For you can ride around looking sweet all day. You feel me? But look here, man. First thing before I get started, man. Y'all already know I got some kind of little quotes I like to do to kind of, you know, keep us ahead of the game. And um, mine for the day is, man, that life is not promised to us, man. We can be here today and we'll be gone tomorrow. We never know the time or the day. So love on your family, man. Love on your friends. Love on your folks. Because people need to love you now, man. Because what we know about when a person passes is when everybody get together and talk about, man, how they used to love you and all this and that. But guess what? When we gone, man, we can't hear no more of that. So try to love on your family and your friends, man, while you got them in your life. Even if you get mad at them, y'all get a little set. You know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing. That's normal. That's life. But love on them, man. Be, be, be genuine. You know, let it be real. You know what I mean? Don't, don't do it for no uh, fake reasons, no unnecessary reason, man. Because if you don't love them, then you don't love them, period. I mean, I don't know what may happen. 
to put you there, but God is about love. And that's what we made of, because we we supposed to be a split image of God. So how can you not love your uh, fellow man, your sister, your brother? I just want to put that in y'all ear, man. You know what I mean? Because guess what? Let's do it again, band, and show love all of y'all, all the time. Even if you're coming to the shows and if you're not coming to the shows. Even if you joining on to the network when I'm on on Wednesday and if you're not joining on the network on Wednesday. We love you anyway. So, look, I'm going to move forward because guess what? I got a guest coming in tonight, man, that's actually my partner, geeking for success. He's caught up in a little traffic, he said, so I'm going to just go ahead and move on until he get here. Now, y'all already know that these are the calendars, man, that we're trying to get rid of. These calendars are nothing but $15. I'm sorry. We went up. We had to go up, man, because the maintenance of this thing, man, to do what we're trying to do, it, it, they, they just tax us. So we don't went up on the calendars, $15. Now, you can be in this calendar if you like. Your business, your rapper, whatever it is that you do, if you want to be a part of this package, you can. All you got to do is reach out to me, which my man going to come on and he's going to tell you some more. You can reach out to me at let's do it again band at gmail.com and I can make sure man I can I can plug you in get you, get you hooked up cuz if you notice or not I got the let geeking for success hat on can you see it I'm a partner I'm there we're going to do this thing man but we try and get rid of these calendars man we need to you know take this city and and, and put them all in this mama came from New York the reason why you see so many photos of her is because these calendars are for New York. That's right. We're not just doing them from D.C. We're doing them from all over. New York, North Carolina, South Carolina. When they put an order in, man, and they pay us for these joints, we send them to you. We're trying to get, man, people to buy at least 100 calendars. If you can put in for an a, a order for 100 calendars, man, come on, man. You're going to break the ice. You're going to break the ice, man. Now, some of these uh, people that you're seeing in the calendar right now have been on this show. Uh, this particular church most definitely been on here, and they actually going to start sponsoring uh, Let's Do It Again Band and Show uh, TV Live next month. They're going to start sponsoring me. So all I'm saying to you is, come on, man, let's, let's dig in them pockets, man. Let's get on that email and send me a photo. This is a photo I like to be in there. I want to be on June. I want to be on July. I want to be on August. Whichever one you want to be on. Then, hey, let us know we're going to do it for you. But there ain't nothing but $15, man. Come on. You can't beat that. And it's a promotion. You know, it's going to help you in whatever you're doing. You know, you may know another company may be interested. You pass it on to them. Look, I know Geeking for Success, man, they're doing the calendars. All you got to do is boo boo, bam, bam. And they in there. You feel me? That's one thing that we're doing. Also, we're, in, we're into. Um, we're going to be at the, uh, um, I wanted to tell y'all about the pool party, but I'm going to wait on that. Tacoma Station. We're at Tacoma Station tomorrow from 7 until 12, 7 to 12. It's going to be Let's Do It Again, Band and Show, also Pump Blenders. So you got to get out there early. And from, from what I know is, I think all the way up to 8 o'clock is free. So if you feel as though your money a little shaky, you ain't got enough but a few for some drinks or whatever, man, get there before 8 o'clock. You get up before 8, then you in there. You partying with us. We there every third Thursday of the month. So that means if you don't make it out there tomorrow, man, then, hey, you count your weeks, bam, we're going to be right back up in there, man, doing it. And I think we're going to do some live video tomorrow, too. I think we're going to do some live video, man. So if you're trying to get in this joint, man, yeah, you need to be up there. Uh, man, let me just let me just thank my man Daryl and his wife, man, for Father's Day, for Sunday just passed, man. They gave a Father's Day cookout, and let's do it again, man, uh, play. And you talking about, did we have a ball, man? I mean, they had food. The law, man, that thing was, the spread was nice. The weather was good. 
The drinks was off the chain. Man, we partied over there. After Let's Do It Again Bang uh, got down, what we did was, man, we just did like a, what you want to call it? A joint session. Different guys from different bands got up there, man. And we all just blended together, man. And we, man, we just party, man, and, until we had to leave. We, we party, man. You know and I'm saying, and it was a good turnout because I done got hit on my uh, Facebook, man, thanking us for coming, man, and, and being a part of that event. Other people uh, was writing in, man, that they really enjoyed themselves and things of that nature, man. So that was a win-win. That was a win-win. And that was my Father's Day, so I was good with it. I was good with it. I'm always uh, trying to do something, man, positive uh, with the community, with friends, loved ones, you know what I mean? What I do with the clubs, that's on a whole nother level, man. You know what I mean? I don't even mix the two. It's a whole nother level. Now, um, as I was saying earlier, um, I'm putting together a pool party. And, I, and I'm shooting for maybe August. I'm shooting for August, man, to uh, do this event. And I'm going I'm to get another band to uh, play with us. Um, I'm going to make this thing huge, though. You know, we're going to do this on a big level, man. Um, I'm just find, trying to find the right spot. Uh, but I'm going to get one of the local bands. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just I'm just saying this now. I have not picked who I'm going to get yet. But it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to run down the line from junkyard to backyard to... Uh, what's, what's them bands, man? I don't even know half of them. Pump Blenders. Um, uh... TCB, uh, just all of them that's out there, man. I'm, I'm going to most definitely uh, look them up and see who's going to be the, 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 the right match for this particular event, man, because this thing going to be huge. This thing going to be big, man. It's going to be off the change, man. We're going to have, we're going to be doing uh, tables. Uh, we're going to have other artists from somewhere else, maybe New York, uh, Georgia, you know, to come down, man, and party with us, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's in the making. Now, whatever band I choose to get with us, man, just going to be a part of it. You know, we're just looking for you all, man, to come on out and uh, party on that. Bring bring your bathing suits, man, and your bags and your chairs, man, and come on out there with us, man, in August and do what you do. That's something that's coming up. Also, man, I got um, on my schedule for July that we're going to be partying with vintage bands. Um, and, and, and the 4th of July, we doing a block party on Bay Street, Southeast. That's over there by DC jail. We're going to do that, man. I'm saying that thing will be hot. Cause that's going to be a block party. That's what we're going to do the fireworks. We got like, uh, gigging for success, man. We plugged in with them where though they're going to bring a massive fireworks, uh, display to, uh, do on that particular night. And then that's, that's on a Thursday. So then after that, man, that Saturday, um, we're going to be down um, infused with um, Vintage Band. That's going to be on the, the 6th of July. We're going to be down there with them, man, partying with them, man. So we're going to have tickets for that, too. So y'all going to have to keep up with me, man, to make sure y'all get y'all tickets. You know I'm wrong. I'm up here trying to look at everything. I can't see nothing without my glass. Okay, there we go. Yeah. We're going to be down there on the 6th with our vintage band, and we're going to have tickets for that event, man. So you want to get your tickets because at the door, man, we're busting your head. I'm just going to keep it 100. We're going to bust your head at the door. So try to keep up with me once again. Let's do it again, band, at gmail.com if you're interested in getting your tickets early. We're going to start doing tickets for um, Tacoma Station, too. I made a mistake. I ain't get get my tickets out in time this time. But after after tomorrow, man, that's gonna be on tickets. Because I'm telling you, man, y'all y'all look, we trying to help you out. You know, you want to come out party, man. Put on your good gear. You know, went shopping, got your little gear together, you got your hair together. You understand your makeup, your new eyes, and all that. You know how y'all do. You gonna come on out there and party with us, man? Have a good time. Go on home, man. Get ready for work. 
That's it. It's about fun, man. No stress. No stress. Now, July 15th, that's a Monday. But that's my birthday, man. I'm going to be looking to celebrate that. You know how people say, man, I'm going to celebrate my birthday all week. I'm not doing that. I'm celebrating my birthday on the 15th, man. Where I'm going to be at, I don't know right now. I'm still working on it. Um, my lead singer, Miss Nikki, her birthday, the 22nd. That's the next week out the mines. That's on a Monday, too. But we already saying that we're going to do her birthday on the 27th. Or the 26th. I got it written. I'm looking at it right here. It's the 26th or the 27th. We're trying to get down and fuse. Okay, we got a caller. Let's see what's happening. Hey, caller, what's happening? Thanks for calling. Let's do it again. Band and show who I'm talking with. Man, I ain't heard nothing about partying on my birthday. Your sound man and DJ. I'm trying to figure that one out. <laughs> y'all hear this? I mean, do y'all really? Do y'all hear this? You ain't even, I, 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 you ain't getting me I, I, to finish the schedule yet, uh, Rick. I, I ain't on none of them schedules. You, yes, just you, was you on the 14th. You, you got the 14th of July. I got it right here. I, I quit. Already? <laughs> Y'all got to understand. Y'all got to understand something about Rick, man. We two cancers. We almost just alike, but I ain't no quitter. He'll quit on me today, but be back with me in two more days. That's all right. So I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back after I finish looking at the schedule. Uh, <laughs> you can't duck no. out on me, man. No way you. And look, I appreciate you, man. This Sunday, man, past, man, for the Father's Day, man. You did the sound and you DJ, man. You was awesome, man. You was awesome. Hey, hey, y'all, y'all did y'all thing, man. Y'all did y'all thing. That was a that was a great collaboration, man. Daryl and his wife, man. Um, that was just great. That was great. Yeah, man. But one thing I know for sure, man. If it wasn't for you, man, the sound wouldn't have been the way it is. So, hey, you got to take man, full credit for that there, man. Man, I appreciate you. I was cranking. So, was what, cranking. so what you doing tomorrow, though? Because we, we, you know, you know where we at tomorrow, man. We are, we, I, I know where I'm at tomorrow. I'm up to Coma Station. I don't know where y'all at. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm up so, to Coma Station. We're so, pumping. I, I, I think let's do it again, man. going to be up there. But um, so, I haven't heard from Tomo. So, so that's why I got that call because... I said that let's do it again, band, and Pump Blender's going to be up there at the Tacoma Station tomorrow, and I did not and say DJ Rick on the yes, ones and twos. That's right. You, you got to put that DJ R.I.C. in there, because uh, if, if I can't play, ain't nobody playing. Well, I'm, I'm going to give you my apologies, man. You know when I get on here, man, my drilling be running, man. I be trying to I make sure I get everything on, man. But DJ Rick on the ones and twos most definitely going to be up there at Tacoma Station tomorrow with us, man, from 7 you, until. So be there if you want to be on the you, dance floor. And you all need to, you all out there that, that's looking in on Tom O's show, y'all need to come on out, man, because y'all be missing some serious up crank, man, from both fans, man. Y'all. Y'all need to come on out, man. And if y'all seen some of that uh, from Saturday, they need to come on out. Peace out. I ain't trying to hold you. Show up. Holla at you. Okay, baby. One love. Y'all heard it yourself, man. Rick, Rick don't give me no breaks, man. He Because he on the station every Wednesday when I'm on, he watching. And if something going on that he supposed to be a part of and I don't see it, oh, he going to call in and let me know it, man. And he's supposed to because sometimes I, I miss some stuff, man. Like I said, I messed up on the tickets this week, man. I supposed to... I uh, gave my band the tickets to sell, man. I met him Jones in my glove department, man. We couldn't do nothing, man. We couldn't do nothing. But anyway, shout out to my man Rick, man. Um, I want to, I want to, I want to kind of move a little further into. Um, we was, we was at my uh, lead singer Nikki, Miss Nikki, birthday, which we're gonna celebrate a party the 26th or the 27th down at Infuse. Um, I know the 27th is booked with, with Vintage Band down there already, but I don't know if Miss Nikki want to do her birthday on the 27th or do she want to do it on that Friday. So that's that's to come, okay? Then when we go into August, see, y'all should have a pen writing this stuff down. When we go into August, August the 3rd, we're going to be doing Kenilworth Day with 
a few bands. I know uh, Vintage Band going to be there, and I think it's another band supposed to be there along with Let's Do It Again Band too. That's going to be in August the 3rd. That's on a Saturday. Oh, man, I'm telling you, we just kind of, man, we everywhere. Then the, the, that following Saturday, we we doing a, uh, another block party in August. Now, I'm going to have to get back with you and tell you exactly where it's at because I'm waiting for the uh, the green light for that one. So I don't want to put it out there then it don't happen or we ain't there. So, um, then in uh, August the 30th, man, and Fuse getting a lot of play from us, man. A lot of play. We back down there with uh, Vintage Band again on the Thursday, I mean on a Friday the 30th of August. We're going to be, we're going to be jamming, but guess what? That Thursday is Miss Johnson's birthday on the 29th. So we'll probably celebrate her birthday on that Thursday as well. She's uh, most definitely with Let's Do It Again Band and Show. She works behind the scene, but we're going to celebrate her birthday. As of September, we're free. <laughs> For now. But if you got something in September, some birthday parties or something, and you want us to be a part of that, man, make sure you get in contact with me for we can get that thing scheduled up, for we can do it like it's supposed to be done. Now, that's it on the, the, the all the way up until August. Y'all already know we're going to be busy. Now, I need one caller, man. I need one caller to call in. And if you call in, you're going to get in. No. You know what I'm going to do? No, nah, I'm going to step my game up right here. Because Rick always said, man, you got to step your game up. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give away three free tickets. Three free tickets. If you can call in and you can answer this question that I'm going to say. Now, I already told y'all at the beginning of the show. Now, I don't know if it's going to be fair because you might say, well, I ain't even get to hear you or whatever. But I'm going to do it twice. I'm going to do it now, and then I'm going to do it again after my break. I need you to call in. You're going to get three free tickets. That's because I want you to bring two more people with you. If you can call in and tell you what is my affiliation with Geeking for Success. I told you all at the very beginning of the show what was my affiliation with them. If you can call in and let me know, you get three free tickets to get in Tacoma Station tomorrow. I will take your name down. I will have your name at the door with you and two more of your party. You can call in at 240-719-2560. 240-719. 2560 to tell me what is my affiliation with Geeking for Success. I gave it to y'all when I first started it out on the show today. Now let's let's see if some people are trying to come out and, and 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 get in free. The lines are open and I'm waiting on you to call. Now, while we waiting on some calls, I want to um I want to let y'all know, man, that my nephew, Bruce Gilmore, funeral is tomorrow. It's on uh, Benning Road. What's the name of the funeral home? Stewart Funeral Home. Uh, the the uh, wake started at 10 o'clock. The funeral starts at 11, man. So if y'all interested, y'all want to come out and uh, show y'all support, man, for... Uh, Mr. Gilmore, he had the show, the talk around town. Uh, he also was the uh, CEO of um, Skibo's Records. Another soldier falling, man. But let's play our respects, man. Hey, so look here. What I'm going to do now, man, I'm going to go on a break, man. I'm going to go on a break. And when I come back, man, hopefully the phones be ringing off the hook. 
to try to get these three free tickets. I can't even get three fingers of them a whole one day. Three free tickets to come in here. Let's do it again, band and show and pump blenders tomorrow at the Coma Station. Be right back at you.
Hey, 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 what's up, what's up? We back. Let's do it again, band and show with your host, Tom Mo. So look here, man. The phones ain't rung not one time. If ain't nobody on online with me, or oh, I said the phone number too fast. So I'm gonna slow it down. The phone number is two four zero seven one nine two five six zero call in to give me the answer to what is my affiliation with geeking for success if you can call in and tell me that you will get three tickets free to get in to Tacoma Station tomorrow night to see Let's Do It Again Band and Pump Blenders. Waiting on your call. And while up now we while we waiting on the lines to ring, if they gonna ring, did y'all did, did, did y'all hear that? Uh, um, well, maybe I did say the number too fast. We got a caller. Welcome to Let's Do It Again, Band and Show. Who I'm talking with? Yeah, this is NSG Kush, man. Uh, the answer to that question is you, you, you partnership with Geekin' for Success? Man, all day long, man. All day long. That's indeed. That means you've been listening. You've been paying attention, man. Look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get your phone number, man, and then I'm going to uh, get and call you back to, to um, to, but I don't want to do it all. Okay, so look, let me let me let me get um let me give you my number. You get you got a pen? I I got it, I got your card. Okay, alright. Well then call me man after the show, after ten thirty, and then I can get your information and then I can make sure you can be able to get in with you and two more people tomorrow night. Okay? Okay, okay that's a duck. Right. Thanks for calling, man. Now, no problem. Now, did y'all see that? Now, you see how easy that was, man? That was a person, man, that was actually listening to what was going on on the show and got three free tickets. This ain't something that happened every day. Not with Let's Do It Again, man. But guess what? It's going to start happening, man. We're going to start blessing some of the fans, man, that's tuning in, some of the fans that's coming out to the shows. We're going to start giving out some gifts, man. That, that was big right there, man. That was big. Appreciate the caller. Now I was asking you all about how did y'all feel about that 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 song Let's Celebrate. I never got any that's our newest release. I never got any feedback about that song. And I would like for man somebody to uh call in and let me know how y'all feel about that song. Give me a call at 2407192560. I just said the number real slow. 2407192560. 2560. Call in to give me some feedback on how y'all feel about that sh song that I played on the break that's called Let's Celebrate. That song was originated right here in Washington, D.C., man, for the Washington, D.C. residents, man, for all the bands that be playing around, S's, uh, Backyard, Junkyard, Familiar Faces, uh, Faces You Know, you know, all these bands that's out there, man. That what that song was really originated for. So if you like it, give me a call. If you don't like it, give me a call. Because if it can be worked on, then we're going to work on it. Because guess what? That's the second version of UIA. I know y'all remember UIA because I was playing that when I first started the show. Then I went back in the studio and I rewrote it with this right here, Let's Celebrate. And today I was talking to my partner and he was talking about Man, we can redo that again and, and do it with a rap. Hey, my antennas went up. I was like, you know what? That sound like a winner. That sound like a winner. Now, look, I know, man, that I was telling you all, uh, oh, man, a couple of weeks ago about us doing a um, seafood party down on Division Avenue, the old Barnett's. 
it didn't happen. It didn't happen, and I'm still in, uh, I want to say, negotiation with still trying to do something down there. You know, sometimes when you do certain things, man, if you don't get it down in ink pen, you know, you don't have that thing illegally documented, things happen. People change their mind and all kinds of stuff. So that ain't happened, but I'm still in uh, negotiation with them to try to do something down there. So what what what's what's this? This um June do, 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 do. the day the nineteenth, right? Okay, next next Wednesday, I'm bringing in a special guest from my church to come in, man, and uh sit down and, and talk about some very important stuff. Information about where you at in life and where you trying to go. Everything ain't for everybody, but it's always good to have good information. Good information. I had a, I had a, um, I wouldn't say an incident, but I had a situation this week that kind of got, got to me a little bit, like, people got to start being honest with what they say out their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you, you know how people always say, I'm grown, I do what I want. When you get grown, then you know you ain't got to lie to nobody. You know you can be who you are. You can, you can tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? If, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It, it's not a big debate about that. But I had somebody tell me something and did the opposite. And when I addressed them about it, they tried to make it seem as in I was putting pressure on them. You know, and I'm saying, no, the thing is, you said this, so I did this. And now you're doing something different and it don't work. And it don't work for me. When all you had to do is just tell me, nah, I ain't trying to do that. You have to handle that yourself, blah, blah, blah. You follow what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm only telling y'all this because in this world that we live in, there, man, people just tell you anything. And they're having you believe that it's, it's genuine and you're going to, you know, you may change some other stuff that you was going to do because of what they said. And then when you do it, they fall out. And then try to make it seem like they ain't did nothing. They don't even know how to call you to say, hey, it's not going to work for me. They ain't going to call you to say, oh, I can't afford that right now. They just don't call to nothing, say nothing. You dig what I'm saying? And just make life seem like it's, it, you know, it's, it's cool. Life is what we make it today, man. And we got to be conscious of decisions, choices, and things that we say. Because what you say to people, man, affects their lives just as well as affect your own lives. The worst thing a person want to be involved in, and I'm talking about as adults, because you know kids, they don't care nothing about if you do it or you don't, whatever. It's being a liar. God speak truth through your being. When you when you lying, then that's that's another source of uh the devil, as far as I'm concerned. I said it. But we gotta be we gotta be in control. You know? If you don't wanna do something, don't do it. If you can't do it and something come up, then be a person of integrity to call and say, hey, something came up, I can't do it. You know, these, these are lifetime lessons that we need to always carry with us and that we need to teach our kids as they grow up. If you got a child that lying to you about something, 
then you got to let them know they can't do that. You can't just let the child lie and make it seem like it's all right because guess what? He's going to grow up to do that, thinking that it's okay. There's a lot going on in this world. And we all know it, man. We all know it because we live in it. On the job, when you go out shopping, you always run into somebody that's doing some crazy stuff. And you got to know how to deal with it. We're going to be doing uh, Geeking for Success hats. This is a promo hat right here. I'm just doing a little advertisement, see? Like. We're going to be doing T-shirts with Geeking for Success, Let's Do It Again Band, TSB Catering, and Events. Man, they coming out soon. When they come out, I'm going to bring them up here, man, and we're going to look for your support, man, to get rid of them. Everyone got to help someone do better. The more you help somebody, the more somebody else going to help you. That's how that chain revolves. That's how it goes. I know from experience. I know for the work that I put in, when those favors come back to me from another, from another source, that I, I may haven't even been thinking about that that, that source going to do it. It's not even planned. It's just that's how God works. I'm still waiting on my caller about the song, Let's Celebrate. I know y'all heard it. Ain't no more free tickets coming out. out uh, Let's do it again, band and show tonight. <laughs> so if you're looking for me to say, oh, I'm going to give out the free tickets if you call it on the song, that's dead. It's going to be one time. Each show, I'm going to give away a gift. It ain't going to just always be a tickets to the show. It may be cash money. It may be cash money because if you answer the, if you follow me, then you'll be able to answer the question. And if you answer the question, then you're going to get the gift. Bottom line. That's how we roll it. We're going to take another break, man. We'll be right back because we're going to wrap it up. See you in a minute.
dropped it. I dropped it. What's up, y'all? What's up? I'm back. I'm back once again. <laughs> I'm back, man. Once again, man. Let's do it again, man. And show with your host, the one and only Tom Mo. And then look, I need I need that anticipation, man. Where I say Tom Mo. One day I'm gonna come on the show and I'm gonna say, man, you're the one and only host, Tom. And I'm going to do it like that, and I need y'all to go, mo. All right? I'm going to know if you do it or not, because I'm going to give you a pop quiz on that joint. But look here, man. Um, we back again. Did y'all like that again? I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to get some feedback on this song. Let's celebrate, man. Because, like I say, it's a song for Washington, D.C., period. You know what I mean? It's about us. It's about us doing what we're doing here. All the bands, you know, that, that be out. You know, doing tributes and playing places and, and, you know, all that. And I think that this song should be on 95.5. I think uh, Big John should be pushing this joint, you know, because it's representing who we are and what we're doing here in D.C., you know. But I'm going to most definitely stay on, uh, on other different sources to try to get it out there where I need to get it at, you know. Um, Shout out to my main man, Ego, you know what I mean? Geeking for success, man. I just spoke to him, man. He ran into a little transportation problem. He couldn't make it, man. But it's all good because guess what? I'm going to send him tomorrow anyway. You ain't no lot to that, man, because we partners like that. And sometimes things happen, man, when you, you're on your way out. But um, I got to bring this up to you all. When you're going on YouTube, man, you, we got a caller. Let's see what's happening. Thanks for calling. Let's do it again. Band and show who I'm talking with. Yeah, this uh, this is it. Cush again, man. I wanted to give you some feedback on on Let's Celebrate. Okay, all right. What you think about it? Man, I like that zone, man. Nice, nice laid back. You know what I'm saying? Pocket type beat. You know what I'm saying? You be in the club, chilling with your drink in your hand when you really feeling yourself, celebrating whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Man, yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed. Now, look, tell me something, man. What is it that, 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 do you do music? Yeah, I do music. What is it that you do? I rap. Oh, okay. So how long you been doing that? Uh, about three years professionally uh, by now, but I always wanted to do it since I was a kid. Oh, okay. So guess what's going to happen? I'm going to have you a guest, man, here on my show, man, real soon. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Because as long as long as you call me, uh, call my number, man, and we, we link up, man, I'm because like I, I'm going to tell you, hold up a minute. I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to do for you right now, man. I'm going to look on my schedule. I'm going to look for my schedule. And, and the next opening that I have that I can bring you on will be Wednesday the third on July third. You think you're gonna be free then? Oh yeah, most definitely. I'm gonna put that in my calendar. Put it on your calendar, man. I'm putting it on mine's now. Okay, bet, bet. And once we talk, man, you will be here. Y'all hear that? Everybody live, oh, y'all hear that? He will be on this station in July the 3rd. So make sure y'all don't miss it to be here, man, because he's going to go live right here on the stage. Right here on the stage, he's going to go live, man. man. Yeah. So, man, I'm most definitely, I know know the fans uh, most definitely look forward to uh, seeing you come in and perform. Tell them a little bit about yourself, man, as far as your your, uh, music career. Um, yeah, I did, I did about, about, i say six, six radio interviews, I did, uh, I did a, a song with a future artist, Free Band Tess, uh, a Cali, a Cali artist, Traffic, Vegas artist, as that, another Baltimore artist, Lean Baltimore, uh, you know, I did a lot of shows, uh, throughout D.C., Pearl Lounge, uh, Red Lounge, did a couple shows in Montgomery County and, and shit like that. Yeah, and I'm still, I'm still working. I'm still pushing. Well, you most definitely sound like man. You've been busy, and I don't know how we miss you. How we don't know nothing about you yet. But guess what? God work mysterious ways because you on now, champ. 
I'm telling you. You with the Let's Do It Again band, geeking for success now, man. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Thanks for calling, man. Look to talk to you real soon. No problem at all. All right. Have a good one. Look how easy that was, y'all. Look how easy that was for him to get, get an opportunity to come on here, man, and, 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 and be able to show his talent, which he already said, man, he been doing stuff. He already known within himself already. But that's why we be needing these type of uh, platforms to be able to really bring them out. You know what I mean? For people that don't know him, people that haven't heard him. You know, because believe it or not, man, you can come on this flat, this uh, platform, do your thing, and go on YouTube, and get discovered. Look at that. Come right on here, and, 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 and it's going to go on YouTube, and it's going to be on there forever. And, and just somebody might see you on there, like what you're doing, and, 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 and contact Vox Wave to find out who you are. And you get discovered, man. Let's don't take these platforms lightly because it ain't really causing you nothing. But we're here for you. We're here for the public. We're here to make sure, man, that if you got a talent, I don't care what it is, if it's cooking, uh, working on cars, uh, psychic, uh, I mean, whatever that you do, that you want people to know you do, then this is where you need to be. You need to be right here with me, sitting right next to me. Look, I got a seat right here. Look, sitting right here, right here where you can be sitting at, doing and, and talking about what you do and how you do it, and God knows where it may take you from, from that night on forward. I did not think that I would be sitting here in this chair as a host. That's not nothing that I was thinking about. That's not nothing that, that you know, I knew Vox Wave. I done dealt with Vox Wave. I done been on Vox Wave several times with other, other hostess. And now look at me. Somebody may think I do a good job at hosting. I don't know. I may be, I don't know. <laughs> they may discover me and be like, man, look, we want you to do this radio station. You know? You never know. We never know where we'll go when we publicly being introduced to the world. And if you got a talent, you need to let it shine. Don't have a talent, man. If you can sing, don't just be singing around the house, man. We got producers. We got studios. We got uh, people that teach you voice lessons. You know, we got the whole package here that can get you where you may need to be. Now, I'm not saying the whole package is free because it's not. Because it's different people and different entities got to get paid to be able to get you shop, get you tuned up, get you where you need to be. But we're here to do that for you. Because there's not many flat, uh, platforms out here, man, that people just let you come on for free. They usually charge you, man, to, to, to get on. Me personally, I'm looking for sponsors, man. I'm looking for sponsors, man, to sponsor Let's Do It Again Band and show, man. Because we got something, man, that the world need to hear. And we can't, we can't do it by ourselves. I done said it a million times, man. You can't do everything by yourself. You need somebody to help you. You need people to help you. We need people that's been here before us that got platforms to open the door for us. So while I got a platform, I'm going to open the door for y'all. Once you get a platform, you'll open the door for somebody else behind you. That's the cycle we need to start building, man. We can't get selfish and get to a certain place and then forget about the people that's talented just like you are to help them out. Because when you do that, what happens is you get stuck on your own platform. You be there by yourself. Because God sees everything. And I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to be very honest with you. If you're not ready for stardom, if you're not ready to make millions, if you're not ready to be a household name, 
if you're not ready to be a star, then you ain't going to get it. See, because one thing that I learned, that God ain't going to put you in a place that you're not ready for. If you're not ready for it, he ain't going to put you in that place. You know how many people out here want to be rich? I want to include it. But do you know how many people want to be rich and they and they not? I'm not. Because God may feel like I ain't ready yet. He may feel like I ain't ready yet. Like, it may be too much for me. It may drive me crazy or something. It may, you know... It may disturb my 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 purity uh, with God. It may destroy some things, you know, because money do a lot to you if you don't know if you ain't ready. So, it's a work in progress, a work in progress, that in order to get where you're trying to go. A lot of people don't want to be a star. A lot of people don't want to be noticed. A lot of people don't want to be seen, and that's okay too. Because you still can get that money from behind the scenes. You still can do it. We're talking about you makeup artists out there. We're talking about you fashion dressers out there. You know, we're talking about the people that know how to create different types of uh, uh, logos and stuff like that, man. You know, all that, all that, you, people get paid for all that. You know? So don't, don't kill your dreams because you ain't got it right now. When God wants you to have it, you're going to get it. Believe that. You're going to get it. I told y'all last week, man, that, you know, I be struggling now. And I do. But the struggle don't be long. Because he always make a way. We winding down now, man. To the closing hours. Don't forget tomorrow... From 7, I'm going to say from 7 to 8, it's free to get into Coma Station. From 9 until 12, man, I don't know what they're asking at the door. I will tell you, but I don't know. I had tickets, man. And I'm saying my tickets was $20. Then was the tickets. So I don't know, you know, what they're doing on the door, man. My caller that came in, he got three free joints already. So he, he'll be there, partying with the stars. Um, I hope to see y'all there. My favorite saying, and I've been saying this for a long time, man. From this time to the next time, peace and love, don't push and shove. I'm out of here. Goodness, here we go again. Come on. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends.